Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how you doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Zacapa Resources, Adam Melnick. How you doing today, Adam? Fantastic, Rich. Very excited to be here with you and your viewers. Uh, thank you so much for hosting. My pleasure. Excited to learn more about you and your company. So my first question is, how did you become the CEO of a junior exploration company? And how did you get involved in the mining industry? That's a great place to start, Rich. I'm, I'm very grateful to have uh, managed to be a part of this industry for over 15 years. I've moved progressively from engineering through to investment banking and, uh, and corporate roles within this sector. Uh, my passion for the industry began while studying engineering at the University of Waterloo and interning at mines and engineering companies across Canada. I, I did my MBA uh, in finance during the global financial crisis uh, and invested a lot in mining and exploration companies and just found it a super interesting space to, uh, to invest in. And I, I also worked underground at gold mines to pay for my degree. Uh, following graduation, I, I worked with uh, Canaccord Genuity, a uh, leading mid-tier investment bank that I'm sure many of your viewers know well. I worked with their mining equity research team in Toronto before uh, moving to London with the company, uh, at which point I, I pivoted into corporate development and strategy with uh, the fifth largest mining company listed in London called Vedanta Resources. Uh, they have 25 mines and operations all over the world. I was very fortunate to work with the, uh, the founder and chairman of the company, Anil Agarwal, uh, and his CEO, Tom Albanese, uh, who is the former CEO of Rio Tinto, uh, and uh, his head of M&A, Cynthia Carroll, who is the former CEO of uh, Anglo-American. That really helped uh, cut my teeth in this industry. Uh, following Vedanta, I worked with Pemberage Resources on a, a transaction with Capstone Mining uh, for, for the purchase of its Minto copper mine in Yukon. Uh, and that helped me establish a really strong network here in Vancouver, at which point I was uh, tapped on the shoulder by the, uh, the board of Zacapa. And I feel immensely privileged and, and proud to have the opportunity to lead Zacapa Resources. Uh, I'm working with some very interesting, hardworking, and adventurous people on high, highly prospective copper and gold exploration projects, all within the Southwest U.S. Uh, so focused in two commodities and a jurisdiction that I, I know and understand really well. Now, Zacapa Resources is a gold and copper exploration company with projects in Arizona, Nevada, and Idaho. Can you tell us a little bit more about the company? Definitely. Happily, yes. Zacapa is a new copper and gold exploration company. We're just listed uh, on the Toronto Stock uh, Exchange Venture, and uh, our ticker is ZACA, as you've got listed on your board there, Rich. And uh, we are based in Vancouver, uh, but all of our projects are in the Southwest U.S., as I mentioned. <clears throat> the company was actually founded by uh, our executive chairman, Ian Slater, uh, who, along with our uh, technical advisors, originated the six copper and gold projects within our portfolio. Uh, these projects include uh, uh, our copper projects of Red Top, Pearl, and Dewdrop Moon, uh, and our gold projects, South Ball Frog and Miller Mountain. Uh, Zacapa's most recent financing was completed last year in support of this uh, initial public offering uh, that we've just completed. We raised $9 million at uh, 50 cents a share, uh, which will uh, support the company's work plan for 2021, 2022 really well. Uh, and importantly, uh, almost two thirds of our shares are subject to an escrow agreement, uh, which will see shareholders uh, supported uh, uh, shareholders in support of our long term strategy. Uh, so um, we have a really tight float. Our capital structure is uh, is, is very strong, and, um, and and we're working really hard to create some catalysts for for investors post listing. I importantly, uh, we have the best people in the business to execute. Uh, Zacapa appointed a, and empowered a new management team, including our Vice President of Exploration, Dr. Tim McIntyre, uh, last year. Uh, Tim has a, a rich history in, in the Congo and, and Zambia with uh, Ivanhoe Mines and Rio Tinto and completed his PhD at Colorado School of Mines uh, focused on sedimentary copper. And uh, we also appointed a new CFO, Lisa Peterson, and myself uh, as CEO and director uh, in, in the summer last year. So importantly, Zacapa's projects are being advanced by a highly disciplined and seasoned professional team with uh, successful track records in discovery, resource development, and mine permitting. And we're very happy to have listed here on the Toronto Stock Exchange Venture. 
What differentiates a Kappa from other gold and copper exploration companies in the United States? Very good question, Rich. As a capitalist, I, from my perspective, the capitalist property positions are incredibly compelling. Uh, we're, we're proximal to major past producing and operating mines and some world-class development projects. Uh, for example, the company is currently drilling its red top porphyry copper project that's located within eight kilometers of Rio Tinto and BHP's resolution project. Uh, that is one of the giant porphyries in Arizona that hosts more than a billion tons. Uh, resolution hosts over 1.8 billion tons at 1.3% copper equivalent. It's in the heart of the Laramide Copper Province that hosts more than 200 billion pounds of copper. Uh, and um, it's assets like this uh, that, uh, that we have inside of our portfolio that uh, just make the, the story so compelling. And, and importantly, as well as the capitalist corporate culture is a key differentiator uh, that uh, me meaningfully separates us from other operators in the U.S., our management team has an average age uh, under 40 years old. Uh, we all have global cro cross commodity operating experience, uh, and we have been encouraged and empowered by our board uh, to be entrepreneurial, transparent, collaborative, and deliver results, uh, which is really refreshing in an industry that's uh, known for uh, more, uh, more uh, let's say, older management teams. Adam, why was now the ideal time for Zacapa resources to enter the public markets? We're strongly of the view that we're in the midst of a significant copper bull market, perhaps, perhaps the, a new super cycle. And uh, we, we believe $4 per pound copper is here to stay. Uh, and it, there are some important market uh, pundits that, uh, that agree with us. You know, Goldman Sachs sees copper well over $5 a pound by 2030 as a greater than 25% supply demand deficit widens uh, due to, in large part, due to the rapid scaling of the new energy economy, uh, which includes the scaling up of electric vehicles, renewable energy, and the associated energy infrastructure. As well, the, uh, the World Bank and International Energy Agency forecast that the world will need at least 200% more copper by the year 2050 in order to help decarbonize the global economy. So we, we, we believe we're in the right space for that for uh, uh, to have exposure to the, the copper market moving forward with our asset base. And as well, the gold price is, is uh, quite stable above $1,800 an ounce uh, and has recently been moving upwards as a, an inflation hedge and will remain a tangible asset that's highly sought after for port portfolio diversification as, as well as a, as a safe haven from uh, less responsible governments and central banks globally. Uh, more recently, we, we have seen in the markets a bit of a, a flight to safety uh, and to real assets and a reallocation into uh, more cyclical sectors like metals and mining, where Zacapa is, is ideally positioned. So we, if I can summarize, Rich, uh, I believe there's three primary reasons uh, why it's perfect timing for Zacapa to be going public. Uh, number one, the demand for copper has never been more powerful. And number two, it's really important to start growing awareness of the world-class work that our talented exploration team is doing. And, and thirdly, and finally, it is really important that we continue to attract the best talent, uh, service providers, and partners to our team to accelerate our understanding of our highly prospective projects with tier one discovery potential and ultimately grow this company significantly. Now, Zagapa recently raised over $9 million. Can you tell us more about this raise and what the company plans to do with the proceeds? Absolutely. So Zacap is very happy to have raised uh, $9 million in its most recent financing, uh, which supported our, our initial public offering and importantly allowed us to continue progressing work at our projects while uh, taking the, the appropriate steps to, to list the company. Importantly, management owns about 25% of that stock. Uh, we have an extremely tight float and two thirds of the stock is escrowed for up to uh, three years. So uh, we have approximately 160 shareholders and uh, they're very long-term focused shareholders who have, who have been uh, great in supporting the company to date. Uh, we have zero warrants outstanding as well. So this creates a perfect opportunity for, uh, for some explosive growth after our, our listing. Uh, and our team has not been complacent in waiting to, uh, for the company to list before deploying capital at its projects. We have been creating value for our investors by advancing our exploration activities and drilling at our projects and importantly have prepared significant catalysts for shareholders and new investors to ensure that the company is well supported post listing. 
So uh, from our perspective, the market is primarily interested in drill results, uh, and those are the ultimate validation of great exploration science and application of theory, which is why Zacapa intends to drill at all of its exploration projects in the coming months. That leads me to my next question. The company is gearing up for several drill programs this summer and fall of 2022. Can you elaborate further on the details of these programs? Absolutely, Rich. Yes, yeah, so Zacapa has several compelling projects that have tier one discovery potential and are permitted for drilling, which is quite important. Uh, the company plans to phase its drilling programs to efficiently manage them and, a, and is effectively initiating a new drill program every quarter at one of its projects so that its team can scale appropriately and manage uh, catalysts for investors that will be delivered consistently throughout the year. So well, we have a drill program underway right now at uh, the Red Top Porphyry Copper Project. We expect to be drilling there for uh, the next two quarters. Uh, our South Bullfrog Epithermal Gold Project will, will be drilling throughout the summer. Uh, our Miller Mountain Gold Prospect in Idaho will also be drilling into the fall. Uh, at Dewdrop Moon, uh, which is another porphyry copper target in Nevada, we will be drilling in uh, Q4 and into uh, the early parts of 2023. And we'll be uh, completing our, uh, our full uh, investigation of our exploration portfolio with uh, a drill program at our Pearl Porphyry Copper Project in uh, early 2023. These drill programs, importantly, uh, will be in excess of 10,000 meters uh, and are expected to generate uh, and greatly expand Zacapa's knowledge of its most prospective properties, Rich. Now, Zacapa, and you touched on it, is primarily focused on the Red Top Porphyry Copper Project in Arizona. Why did you choose to acquire it and what makes this project so exciting? We, we are very excited about this project, Rich, which is uh, why we've accelerated our drill program here. Red, Red Top is located within eight kilometers of Rio Tinto and BHP's Resolution Copper Project, which hosts 1.8 billion tons at 1.3% copper equivalent. A lot of value in the ground there, and this mine is progressing its way through permitting and into development. Uh, Zacapa acquired Red Top through an option agreement with EMX Royalty Corp. Uh, and we're just, we're in a great postcode for potential uh, copper discovery. And we were attracted to Red Top because the property exhibits widespread porphyry style alteration uh, with a locally intense alteration uh, spanning more than three kilometers by, by almost two kilometers. And these intense areas of alteration uh, as well host zones of porophyllite, illite, and locally uh, dikite, which are analogous to some of the assemblages we're seeing in the mineralization at uh, the resolution deposit. Uh, so this alteration in mineralization at Red Top is interpreted as the uh, upper levels uh, of a moderately tilted porphyry system, which we are now testing with uh, our drill campaign. And Zacapa has recently completed its first drill hole and we'll have a formal update for the market and assays in due course. Uh, but importantly, we, we've drilled over a kilometer uh, into a large copper bearing magmatic hydrothermal system with porphyry style alteration and veining. And we've, we've learned a lot from this first hole and had, have observed a transition from magnetite to pyrite to, to sphalerite and galena into chalcopite and even boronite uh, with alteration dominated by quartz and sericite, indicating that we are on the distal lower temperature parts of the hydrothermal system. Uh, and it, that has importantly uh, given us the confidence to drill a second hole, which is now underway. And we'll have uh, updates for the market in due course. Fantastic. I can't wait to see these updates. Now, Zacapa is also focused on the South Bullfrog Gold Project in Nevada. How was this project originated and what is your plan for it this year? I am immensely proud of our team, uh, Rich. Uh, our technical advisors uh, took the initiative to note that no major had staked directly around Beatty, Nevada. Beatty is in the heart of the Walker Lane trend uh, and is an increasingly important and active and acquisitive region for, uh, for gold majors. And with the capital support, we seize the opportunity to establish a significant property position. Uh, we're contiguous with Anglo Gold, Corvus Gold, Augusta Gold, and Core Mining. We're literally in the center of the bullseye in that region. And uh, importantly, Anglo Gold has uh, just completed its acquisition uh, of Corvus Gold for 570 million Canadian dollars and has uh, been quite public about uh, this whole region becoming a new tier one play. Uh, that could potentially host uh, over 10 million ounces of gold, of which uh, four, 4 million ounces was acquired from Corvus Gold. And uh, it's a very interesting Anglo Gold's approach here uh, in Beatty. 
they're, they're looking to produce a hub and spoke uh, central heap leach processing facility, and they're going to expedite production, uh, which is expected within the next three to four years. So it's really great to have uh, our, our shared border with Anglo Gold and a, and a new you know, central hub uh, for producing gold in Beatty, Nevada, uh, and, and have such a significant property position where we do. <clears throat> so as a cap has completed two soil and sediment uh, stream sediment sampling programs, as well as a mapping program uh, in the past quarter and has completed is currently completing an extensive IP survey, a geophysics survey to get a better understanding of the fault and vein structures that exist on the property. Uh, particularly beneath areas of, uh, of cover, where we have uh, some really interesting uh, magnetic anomalies. And the company plans to drill this, this project and its most compelling targets here later this year. What is Zacapa's long-term strategy for 2022 and beyond? And what should investors watch out for? That's a perfect way to... Uh, Perfect way to close here, Rich. Our Zacapa strategy for 2022 is to investigate all of its highly prospective projects with leading technologies and fantastic exploration science and subject to drill results and new interpretation, refine its portfolio and priorities, prioritize projects for further phases of evaluation in 2023. Uh, fundamentally, Zacapa plans to deliver consistent drill results year round from its highly prospective copper and gold projects in the U.S., when two critical trends are at play. Uh, firstly, major mining companies have strong balance sheets and most are net cash, and they are paying significant dividends and are scaling up <clears throat> their corporate development and exploration teams in preparation to return to growth and resource expansion through green fields opportunities and most importantly, acquisitions. Secondly, this is at a period in the new super cycle, if we can call it that, when copper prices are expected to remain strong and potentially melt up due to the impending copper supply shortage driven by the new energy economy, the scaling up of electric vehicles, renewable energy, and energy infrastructure. And I believe Zacap is extremely well positioned with its projects. It's well capitalized financially and intellectually. Uh, it's well guided by its board and is well prepared to deliver on its strategy and create significant value for shareholders. We're gonna have investors that are going to be watching this interview and this video from literally all over the world. What would you say to them if they had any questions for you and they wanted to get in contact with the company? What's the best way for them to reach you? Definitely. I would encourage all of your, your viewers, Rich, uh, to check out our website. Please subscribe to our news alerts and uh, find us on all social media channels. And, and please take the opportunity to reach out to our investor relations team uh, and, and myself at uh, Melnick at ZacapaResources.com for additional information. Thank you so much for your time today, Adam. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I do believe this is a project that is grossly undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Put them on your radar, put them on your watch list, Zacapa Resources. And thank you for joining us today, the CEO and Director of Zacapa Resources, Adam Melnick. Thank you, Adam. Thank you for having us, Rich. All the best. Always a pleasure. Love to invite you back on the show. If you ever have any big breaking news or anything you want to discuss, we'd love to invite you back and communicate and talk with our community. And thank you guys for watching. We've told you guys before, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. This is your host, Rich from Rich to be Live with the CEO of Zacapa Resources, Adam Melnick saying, have a nice day. We'll see you soon.